Hello everyone, Jesus Christ be praised. I made a small silly game with RPG Maker XP. Now, why do I use XP if I already have MV? Well, simply put, RPG Maker XP was given out for free 8 months ago. And I've decided to try out what it looks like. But, what kind of game should I create? Well, even though the engine is literally called Role Playing Game Maker, I'm too lazy to plan out a balanced RPG game, so instead an adventure game, because why not? Everyone knows that I make really awesome adventure platformer games. <laughs> Now, my idea is, you know how in adventure games you might come across some traps or hazards that may or may not cause instant death. You wish to see Godhood! I wish you to end! Well, why not take it to an extreme level and pretty much just litter these traps everywhere? Also, if you can see it, where's the fun of it? So, why not just make all of them invisible? I swear, people are going to hate me for making these kinds of games. Okay, so here's what it will do. First, we make it invisible, and if the player touches it, we'll set the self-switch A to on, and once it's on, we will automatically run this co uh, commands, and then we will play, we will play a, nice, uh, a nice sound, then, set the transparent flag to transparent, which means the, uh, you will no longer be able to see the player. Then, we wait for three, uh, three seconds. I, wait. Yeah, sets the, time, sets the wait time in one, uh, divided by one over 20 seconds in, uh, increments. So... In RPG Maker MV, this is 1 over 60, but uh, in XP, it's 1 over 20. So this is 3 seconds. Then change screen color tone to completely black. And also you can set it to like 0 frames. Uh, in MV, the minimum is, actually, uh, is 1 frame. And then we play this sound, which, which is like uh, a splat. And then wait two more second uh, seconds, and then just give the player a game over. And that that's how this co uh, that's how this trap works. All right, let's test it out. And now. Um, okay, so uh, that's done. Obviously, everything you saw is still default to RPG Maker XP. Firstly, let's change the main character. The main characters are Alus uh, Al <laughs> Alux uh, Aluxes, the fighter, Basil, the lancer, Gloria, the cleric, and Hilda, the mage. Now, we don't need four characters. We only need one. Of course, I'd like to write a story using my own characters as well. So let's create a new character. We'll pick a mage, and her name is... Lucy. Coming from RPG Maker MV, RPG Maker XP has a more simple design to it. It's like you can tell that it was made during the Windows XP era. MV has this beautiful light blue gradient with detailed icons, while XP has this simpler, smaller icons and everything is flat white. The tile sets are quite limited. You are only given these options here and only whatever is in the first row auto tiles. Also, unlike MV, which automatically layers the tiles for you in XP, you'll have to manually set the tiles, these three layers. So a lot of the stuff I did in XP, uh, I had to do it quite differently than in MV because it, it actually changes a lot uh, from XP to MV. Uh, for example, unlike in MV, 
which uses JavaScript, XP uses Ruby, and so I didn't bother finding any plugins for this game. So yeah, this game is made entirely in vanilla mode. There's also no faces for dialogues, like in MV, so I just do this. There may be some other differences, but I can remember. The game is actually finished, by the way. I'll probably release it tomorrow or something. I just have to get the thumbnails and all the headers and all those stuff done. Uh, so yeah, good, good night, everyone.